Scorpio, this is going to be for January 28th through February 3rd. I'm going to start with Queen of the Moon. The Hunger card comes out. Ooh. All right, so here's the meaning of the card, ready? So the hunger card says we have two wolves, the good wolf and the bad wolf. So it says that you're fighting to figure out which wolf to feed. So, you know, when you feed the good wolf, you do good things. And when you feed the bad wolf, you do bad things. And it's going to have something to do with pleasure, experiencing pleasure, enjoyment. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. Um, when you awaken, you learn that you can experience like certain, dang it, I don't know how to say this, um, like feelings, um, gratifications, um, all right, here's a perfect story. There is this old um like indian guy i don't know if he's indian or not what country he's from he's from that side of the world okay and he wears like you know the the gown and like the headpiece he's got this big beard and he's always telling these really profound um lessons to people right like he's i don't know you guys probably maybe know who i'm talking about maybe you don't i don't know um but it's like he was telling this the story somebody was asking like why are you always so happy and you're always smiling and your eyes are always so red <laughs> and he somebody asked him like did he smoke marijuana and he was like no i i don't smoke marijuana and he goes i know i look like i smoke marijuana and he goes but i don't and he said you know he, he had just become so um enlightened and so connected to spirit and source and his own soul and his own human body um, and he had just gained the knowledge, you know, and he knew that like our bodies release certain types of chemicals and like certain things when we are in high vibrational energies that could make you feel like euphoric or extreme bursts of happiness or, you know, these types of things. Um, for some of you, that could be the issue. For others of you, um, this is going to be about dealing with like, I mean... I don't know how to say this without like, you know, desires of the flesh. I mean, that's, that's probably the, the easiest, kindest way I could say it. So which wolf are you going to feed? The good wolf or the bad wolf? the navigating by the stars um it's the card where everything looks dark and you're not sure not sure if you're making the right decisions or the right turn is something gonna pop up around the corner I mean, some of you could even feel like howling at the moon. It is, you know, it's a couple of days away from that Leo full moon. Look at that. Protected by angels. Ah, oh, thank you, spirit. Um, I can feel the fear here. I can feel your fear. Um, I can feel the want to feed the good wolf, but the fear of the bad wolves coming after you. Um, protected by angels, you're cherished by angels. Here's what I'm going to say. 
um, when you're in your awakening, when you're connecting to spirit, source, God, whatever label you got to put there, um, to say that you're highly protected is, is such an understatement. And I think I'm starting to figure out why we're so protected. Um, I, I think I said it in yesterday's live, or maybe it was a live before that. I don't know. Again, they all start to blur together. Um, but it's like, I get this feeling that, I mean, it's not a feeling, it's a knowing. I know that we are here because of spirit's will, spirit's purpose. Like spirit's will is for us to love unconditionally. Like that's the whole purpose. And so it's like, that's why we awaken. That's why we connect with God. That's why we start following this. You know, I want to be a better person. I want to give unconditional love. I want to do these things, right? Like that's why, because that's spirit's will. So I feel like that's why we are so highly protected, right? Like that's why um, we see things happen I mean, I don't know. I feel like the car has been my biggest sign that I get on a regular basis is like, I'll be in the car with someone. Um, and you know, when you have those moments where like, you just see something flash right in front of your eyes and you're like an inch over and that could have been like the end of days. Right. Um, but it wasn't, and it never is. And it's like, we're always highly, highly protected. I guess, I mean, I guess some of us could jump into that whole matrix theory and then it's like, we're just jumping timelines and timelines and we never die. I mean, I guess that's possible, but I don't know that yet. All I know is that right now in this timeline, I feel like super highly protected everywhere I go. And it's not even, here's what I want to say, Scorpio. Um, it's not even just about like, you know, things happening in cars or, or like nature or things like that. I'm protected by, um, I'm protected <laughs> from shitty people. Yeah, I know. Right. I just said it. Um, but it's like, I can be somewhere where someone is just spewing their hate and their venom at me and I don't see them. I don't smell them anymore. I don't even know that they exist anymore. You know what I'm trying to say? It's that type of highly protected. Um, so it's like, if you're fighting the demons, if you are trying to go towards the light, if you are praying, if you are doing all the things, um, does that mean like the, the darkness doesn't come after you? I mean, no, of course it still does. In fact, it probably does more so now because you're going towards the light and it's trying to suck you back into the darkness, right? Um, so it's like, if you keep doing that, you will see though that like these people, these energies, these whatever we want to call them, like they can't touch you. They can't touch you and they can't affect you in ways that they could affect you before. They can't make you go do something now. Whereas before you probably were a lot more willing, right? Protected, highly protected. I don't know why, why I turned that over. Ooh, there's that transformation card. Um, a Scorpio energy, Phoenix rising energy, right? A fresh new way of living emerges. So the challenge or obstacle is believing that you're protected by angels. Um, lesson learned, you have found some form, something new, because it's like you see the child. So it's like you found some form of happiness, something that brings you great joy, excitement. It's probably, you know, feeding that good wolf, right? Um, and it's like, there's this energy where it's like something could be coming and trying to test you or um, like poke the bear type of energy and spirits telling you like, just stay and don't let something take your happiness. Don't let it, don't doubt that you're protected. Like if you believe you're protected, if you have the understanding that you are protected, they can't, that energy can't touch you. Watching the clouds lie back, rest and relax is what you're supposed to be doing. That card just gives me this energy like spirit has it under control. Don't overthink or like over worry yourself into a corner is what I'm hearing. All right, seven of cups, choices. So big confirmation, which wolf are you gonna feed? And the Seven of Cups talks about how you have multiple choices, but you always see the clouds in the Seven of Cups. It's like, it's blocking the view of what's in the cups. 
not every choice or option is good. King of Cups comes out again, clue card for divine masculine. Could have something to do with counselor, therapist, and three of pinnacles comes out again, partnership, teamwork, working together. You could say I have something to do with like the choice could be that um, working with someone who you trust, like working with someone who has that type of characteristics, counselor, mentor, therapist, coach, right? All right, protected by angels, knight of swords, it's that breakup card, the clue card. Um, but again, it's like being courageous enough to deliver a message about freedom, clarity, understanding. Four of swords comes back out, again, healing, resting, but Again, it's like a blessing and disguise, ace of swords, new clarity, new understanding. It's very possible that this week you get this energy where you realize that you have this type of protection and it helps you speak truth to the people or to the energies that are, you know, poking the bear, right? Joy and delight, open your heart to joy. Nine of cups comes out. This is divine wishes are granted. Seven of wands says stand your ground, fight for something. And I just heard that one. How's it go? It goes something like, um, if you don't fight for something, you fall for everything. Is that right? I don't know if I said that right. Um, Ten of Wands is there, and Ten of Wands is about heavy burdens on your shoulders, but it talks about laying the burdens down, and I feel like that's what Spirit is saying here. Like, don't let someone take your happiness. Don't let someone else's burdens become your burdens. Watching clouds lie back, rest and relax. There's Scorpio energy coming out. Um, again, I'm getting like there's some healing energy here, but of course, the judgment card is about hearing your calling, hearing your purpose. Three of Cups is here, like minds soul tribe soul family and three of wands taking action towards your future on the bottom is the hermit i think that's the action that you're actually taking um the hermit is about withdrawing the hermit is about um being very protective of your energies and it's interesting to me she's closing the laptop All right, guidance card. Virgo energy coming out strongly with the Hermit. Kindness card, Archangel Camille is on the bottom. Kindness, giving, and beauty. A kind word, gesture, or even a simple smile cost us nothing, yet we often withhold these simple acts of kindness. So often giving and sharing things of beauty with others comes with expectations of what we will receive in return. Small things done on the spur of the moment without thought for thanks or anything in return brings back a sense of community, a sense of acknowledgement of another person through very little effort at all. Perhaps you have been on the receiving end of such kindness and can remember how it brought a smile to your heart and a light to your day. It says, how you ask you to show your appreciation to friends, family, and strangers with random acts of kindness. The angels ask, are you kind to your fellow humans and animals alike? Do you share and receive kindness with a grateful, loving heart? Tell yourself, I brighten the lives of others through simple acts of random kindness. I show kindness and respect for all living beings. Um, there's going to be something to that because I definitely got this energy like there's something trying to poke at you or something trying to like get through um, your barrier. So it's like 
I was going to say, I don't feel like spirit would say be kind to it, but that's actually not true. Spirit would tell you to be kind to it. Spirit would tell you um, to show that energy, unconditional love. And you're supposed to do that because you're supposed to know that you're highly protected. All right, Moonology card to close it out for Scorpio. I dropped it. Fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. A new star is coming. It's the new moon. You and your loved ones are safe. It's new moon in Cancer. And half faith in your dreams is going to be on the bottom. That's not true. A time for healing. The boss McMoon is on the bottom. All right, I'm going to leave it right there, Scorpio. I hope that reading was helpful. If it was, guys, tap that like button for me.